what is up guys my name is Nokia and welcome to a new video on my channel today guys we're gonna be playing through a new game we're gonna play into the campaign of Stormbound and Stormbound is a very cool game I really like it uh, I obviously created a new account just to like play play, play through the campaign with the starter card so you guys can do it yourselves at home and show you how you can beat the walkthrough or the campaign um, there are four campaigns, Swarm of the East, Winter Pack, Ironclad Union, and Tribes of uh, Shadowfen. And those are also the four factions that exist within the game. And also, I forgot to mention, obviously, it's a card game. It's a card game uh, produced, I think, and uh, published by uh, Congregate, which is one of the biggest websites on the internet for, like, online games. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's a definitely a big game. How I'll describe the game is a mixture between maybe chess and a little bit of like clash royale if you guys play that because you know if you see the cards you can like upgrade the cards uh when you get duplicates of the cards you can upgrade them to make them stronger uh also uh your health like your base is health you have base you have a base and your enemy has a base but this time around there are no lanes like in clash royale uh there's just like a playing field like chess you're gonna see in a moment but yeah just to show uh, I have all the default cards that are given to you uh, when you complete the tutorial. So I'm going to be using the decks of those cards. So Gifted Recruit, which has two strengths, and strength is like damage and health. It's all the same. So if your unit gets attacked uh, by one strength guy, or this particular unit gets attacked by one strength guy, the one strength guy is going to say is going to die, and this unit is going to be left with one strength. Also the uh, the boot. The, the boot, <laughs> the boot next to the, uh, well, on the right, of, on the bottom right of the card, means how much movement the card has, meaning that it has only, like, well, particularly this card is going to move one tile at a time every turn. But there are some other cards, like, oh, let me see. Um, okay, for, for example, one front runner, as you can see, uh, they have two strength, or no, sorry, yeah, two strength and also two movement. So meaning when this card is put into play, it's going to move two tiles instead of one. But every next turn, though, it's going to move only one tile. Um, and yeah, so uh, there you go. Um, gifted Recruit, two, one, like two strength, zero, uh, one um, movement. Oh, right, here you go. Another example, uh, Fell Flares. Um, when you play it, it has a special effect, as you can see on play, deal two damage to a random surrounding enemy, has two strength, but zero moving, meaning when you put the card down, it's not going to move the first turn, but every next turn, it's going to move with one tile forward. Uh, well, we have Execution, which is a spell, deals three damage to a target or an enemy structure, and now I'm going to show you a structure, which is uh, Fort Ebernock, or, wait, Eben Rock, Eben Rock, I think is how you meant to pronounce that, and what this structure does is, it's put in place, and it only has a strength. It doesn't move at all, uh, but so it can like block enemies uh, from uh, attacking your base and stuff like that. Also, yeah, the difference between those this game and, uh, for example, <coughs> Clash Royale is that it's turn-based. Also, there's mana. Like it's, it has elements from like Clash Royale and like life action movement, like chess maybe. But then it also has elements of like normal trading card games when you, when you like uh, just like play a card and then um, play play out your mana rather because uh, there's also mana in this uh, and then you forward to the other guy to play his turn yeah and that's pretty much it as you can see you can like kind of see the cards here I'm not gonna explain every card right now so let's just, uh, I'm gonna explain them as a play so let's jump into the first campaign which is Swarm of the East and let's play the chapter one so as you can see we have 10 health in our base and the enemy has 7 health now we start with 3 mana because we go first and then he starts with 4 mana. Uh, so let's see what we can play. We can play Fort of Evernock which is going to block uh, and we can play this card but it's going to be waste its effect. We can also reroll a card like this and then we get another card for um, but uh, it's not a useful one. So let's play uh, Fort Evernock like right here maybe and then our turn. Also, what is important to be mentioned maybe is that uh, you, uh, if you play like four cards, all those cards are going to be refilled next turn. Like however many cards, you always at the start of a turn have four cards available for you to play. So however many cards you uh, use, that many cards are going to be given back. As you can see, I, I used the Warfront Runners and they went, instead of just one space, they went two spaces ahead. Uh, he played some... Uh, 
top tiers that are only one strength so we're not too worried about him too much right now next turn let's see okay so he's playing a three unit so currently he has on the left strength to kill my um my structure but at the end of the day that's what structures are kind of for we can okay we can make a play here and play this and hopefully we get some lucky damage okay so look now we're gonna this is gonna suicide here pretty much in my structure um the uh uh enemy Satcher is also gonna suicide in, into my what is it called? Fell flares, and as you can see, that just happened. And now he plays a three zero knight and a one two undead. Oh, but he didn't play. Okay, so that's another mechanic I have to, I have to explain. So when you play a card right next to a unit, instead of going forward, it's gonna attack the unit. As you can see, you can play like here and attack the unit. You can play here, here. But if you if like in front of the unit, you wanna attack, it's blocked. You can play to the side of it and attack it still. Now, uh, I'm going to execute those knights because I don't want him to deal damage. And I'm just going to play a guy for it. Um, right now, we don't really need to worry about our base. It's in a pretty good situation. Okay, He's going to play, uh, as you can see, like, now I had blocked the, the tower in front so he couldn't really attack me. And, okay, so he spawned a lot of... Um, okay. He spawned a lot of uh, ye a lot of little units here, so uh, let's see what we do. I'm gonna re roll the draw draw knight because we don't really we can't really use them. Okay, so maybe we're gonna play him here, and he's gonna soak most of the damage. But now that we didn't play a unit at the line, as you can see, there is like a line right at their um w one tile before their base. Now this line is gonna drop back to my base because if you don't have a unit there. The line draws back to the um, first unit you have on the field. So, as you can see, yep, yeah, the line drop. And the enemy player can also drop your line by killing your uh, unit and, like, leaving you with no unit up in front during their turn. Okay, so now he's going to play a lot of... Okay, mm, we have a little bit of a problem here. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have anything we can really play as too good. I guess we're gonna play Jaws Champion here, just for the sheer strength. We're we're gonna take three damage to our base, but well, what can you do? It's not really much we can do. Also, now he's gonna have the chance to retain his line here because it's his turn. Oh, but he chooses not to. Okay, that's interesting. One. Uh, okay. Okay. We still can do this. It's like. We're one point ahead, just because we started like with with um better strength. But oh, don't tell anybody that. Okay, let's do this so we get four strength into our knights, and then we're gonna use. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna push. As you can see, his line currently is right here at my uh fort. But since he hasn't had a card there, and now I can like kill this guy, right here, I'm gonna give him even more strength to my knights, so they're very strong. As you can see, his line dropped back to the first enemy, or the first um, unit he had, which was Brothers in Arms. Okay, so, let's uh, end our turn here. Let's see what he plays. I have a really strong unit here, with strength of 8, which is going to uh, destroy his uh, his um, his base if he's not careful. I'm just trying to see what he's going to play. He doesn't really have anything, it seems. Uh, on play deal 3 damage to... What? On play 3 damage to enemy unit behind. Okay, oh, oh, look at this play. Bang! Destroyed. <laughs> Either way, uh, oh, we're also gonna play that for sure. And now we have a lot of units up front, and he's gonna be in trouble next turn. So let's see if he can save um, save his base here. It's obviously a CPU, so... I mean, sometimes, not gonna lie, I've played the game a, f a fair bit, and the... I, I have to say, like, again, when I was starting out, the CPU seemed a little stronger than the players currently. Because, like... Obviously, in early levels, players would. I'm just gonna go all in, I think. Wait, let me see here. Uh, let's actually not take that damage. But, yeah. So, like, players don't really have the best decks, maybe, or then don't really understand their mechanics too well. So, it's. I found it easier, honestly, to beat players when I was starting out than beating um, the CPU. Especially, like, some levels are kind of tricky. So, you have to be careful. But, at the end of the day, we should be able to beat it with this deck. Okay, so next turn we win for sure. We have so much damage here. And he can't do really anything. 
Uh, chapter one complete of the Swarm of the East. Let's um, let's keep forward to chapter two. Okay, so here we go, chapter two. Let's go. Also, I forgot to mention that after every chapter, you get a reward. So I think from chapters one to three, you get a card, and then when you complete chapter four, you get a uh, a pack or a card pack. Yeah. Okay, so uh, ten ten health. Okay, so let's see what he played. He spawned uh, some sat satyrs. Let's put a defensive uh, thing here. And I'm gonna reroll veterans of war because we don't really need them right now. We're gonna get them later, anyways. Um. Okay. Mm. Oh. Okay. Moonlight Airy. That's a really fairly strong structure, actually, because it gives us uh, satyrs bonus health every turn, which is kind of really annoying. So let's try to deal with it before before anything too bad goes or happens. So it's gonna give, as you can see, one strength to every satire that my opponent has currently. Ooh, sheezer. So he's gonna get into strength as well. Okay, so here I'm gonna take three damage. I can't really defend that, unfortunately. Hmm. It's a really, really poor start, actually. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna kill that. Give the strength to my boy there. And yeah, hope for the best, I guess. Oh, wait. I actually could save myself damage, but I misplayed. My bad. Okay, so it's going to play uh, Emerald Tower, which gives two strength as a start of a turn at, uh, for every, or to every unit in the row. It's kind of really important that we kill here stuff. Okay. Let's see what you can do damage to. Too. Okay. Then I'm going to take you down, I guess. Uh, I think that works. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we're pushing forward. At least that's something, I guess. So as you can see, the strength is gonna die to my... To the damage to... Okay. So it's gonna do two damage to my base and my structure. That's kinda annoying. But, what can you do? So do I defend that? I, I think I should. Because it's gonna push his line very far back. As you can see now, it's gonna push his line all the way back to his base. And I kind of want to suicide this to give strength to my stuff before it that. Okay, great. Um, okay, yeah, that's a fairly good turn actually. We recovered fairly well, I think. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Okay, so he's playing that, but there are no bordering satires. Oh, he's gonna lose the effect of this card as well. Oh, that's really bad for him right now. Okay, so what I can do now is play veterans of war. Play veterans of four right there and just like threaten to. It's gonna be tough for him to deal with them. Because he can only attack me from the right side or attack them from the right side. So, yeah, that's actually a really good play. I think, I think. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Can he defeat them? Oh. Nope. I don't think so. Yep. Alright, so that was a very quick victory because we got some actually really good cards drawn for us. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's actually kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? Okay, so let's go to chapter 3 then. Alright, so here we are, chapter 3. We're gonna get one rare card when we complete the chapter. I'm gonna show you guys afterwards what I got, and I'm gonna show you the pack which I'm gonna open. So, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna reroll straight away Joust Champion because we don't need uh, the 8 mana card that, that early. I'd rather have like more options to play. I'm gonna play this early. Okay, he has the. Rough front runners, which is kind of annoying, because he's gonna get a uh, push advantage on me. But hmm, let me see. I kind of want to do that, you know. Oh yeah, that actually should not be a too too bad of a play. Killing those guys to like. Oh wait a second, what? Oh that gives. Oh surrounding. Oh that's that's my bad. I I, I hadn't read that properly. Okay, I think I'm gonna. Real blaze storm here because I don't like the card too much, but it works against satire sometimes when they spawn. Oh, uh, so I don't think one damage to the enemy base. Hello, oh frick, dude. Okay, let's kill it then. Let's kill it with this dude. Whew, that could have been annoying. Thank god I was on the offensive when he had it, so it didn't really do too much. Because imagine if you're like defending against him and he plays that in, in, his, in his back. I just gotta go. I just gotta go. Uh, so guys, um, so I'm playing. I think I'm playing. 
for her to do damage. It wouldn't be too, too much of a waste because it's a 5 strength unit, which is very good. Generally speaking, play due to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that play. I'm gonna play him here, just so, you know, he can only attack me from one side. Let's see what he does. Okay, he plays that. He's gonna do one damage to my base. Uh, oh, he didn't. What? Oh, okay, no mind. I was gonna say he didn't even kill that thing, but he did. Um, okay, so let's do that. I think. Oh wait, I could have played better. Well, it's okay, I guess. Let's play it here. Yeah, I should have. I could have played it better, but it's fine for now. Pretty sure I'm gonna keep. Okay, great. Veterans of War again, which helped us huge or massively. Wait, what does that do? It's struck or structure to one damage to the enemy base. Jesus. Oh god. Okay, but it, it died. Thank god. Thank freaking god. Okay, so we're gonna play Veteran Reserve 4 again here. With the same idea that he can only attack me from this only attack me from this tile. Even though it's not shouldn't be too much of a problem for him. Okay. Let's see, let's see. What can we do here? Can we win it? Oh, that's a strong pull for him. And uh, quite a bit of damage. But it's not all too bad actually. Oh, I'm actually thinking, yeah, I'm gonna reroll you, hoping, okay, I didn't get anything too significant, uh, which is unfortunate, but it's fine, it's fine, we can do two damage here, okay, so we're gonna set up this, oh, we can't set up this, I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I misplay, I'm not to go with uh, trading card games, but I love this game, actually, it's very fun. Play gain two strength for each board. Wait. Oh, wait. What is he doing? Okay. I mean, I guess the bots fuck up sometimes as well, because I don't see how th this is useful to him. I don't know. I can just do that, I guess. Yep. Okay. You? I don't know. Hopefully, you can't do too damage to, to random enemies. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. Yeah, but. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, win. Nice. Whew, that was close. <laughs> that bomb really scared me. <laughs> that bomb really scared me, especially with destruction coming after. Destruction? Destructure coming after because. Yeah. Some scary moments there. So chapter four. Alright oh, guys, I got I got completed the quest so I'm gonna open up spellbook just to see like or a card pack just to see what we get. Okay we got a warfront runner. So if we get one more of those we can upgrade the warfront runner into becoming stronger. We got a green couriers. We have green couriers, I guess it's plural. Oh they have three movement the first time I've had that's pretty decent. Harpies of the hunt. Hunt? Hunt. 4-0, uh, seems like a decent unit, okay, so that was it, and here we go, chapter 4, the final chapter of the Swarm of the East, and the final chapter of the video, officer, oh great, okay, that's what I wanted to see, something that I don't have to waste the, like, quote-unquote passive ability, starting with this again, okay, let's see, how can we play this out, um, do we keep Bladestorm, I think we should, how can we play this out, um, do we keep Bladestorm, I think we should, so, like right now, I think we should. Honestly, okay. So right now, I think we should. Honestly, okay. So we're gonna kill this. We're gonna push his line back a little bit, even though it's gonna push up, cause uh, he's just gonna move forward. Okay, he deals one damage to my base uh, through those goddamn suckers, but we should be fine. We can put the five the heroic soldiers here. Yep. But we should be fine. We can play the five the heroic soldiers here. Yep. Okay. We're still we're still looking decent. Let's see. Who's gonna play? Play again two strength for each brother and friend the units is gonna be two strength. Okay. Oh shite. What is that? What no board let's go what? Oh I oh I understand. Okay. Well 
he didn't get the effect off so it's fine I guess okay now okay yeah mm, yeah we should kill it we should kill it and we can play the we don't have to play the personal servers right now I don't think at least like we didn't need them too much oh we got another execution straight away that's kinda good oh shitter well that's not great oh and a war front runner oh that's that's not great okay so we're gonna definitely okay let's get rid of you I think ew Joe's champion just a little just a tad too early we can kill this no we can't actually yeah uh, but we can defend here I think we should defend here yeah let's see how this goes Two strength rounding board and enemy units. Well, wow, unlucky. That they wanna damage to your base, okay. What? What was he rushing that for? Okay. Well Alright. Alright. <laughs> Let's play Josh Champion here. I'm gonna push forward quite a few. Uh quite a bit is what I meant to say. So we still have snow masons and personal servers, which are boosts. Oh, what do you do? After attacking and survive spawn a tree tank and dread that will be behind. Well oh, that's really annoying. I'm gonna have to veteran knights that. Or veterans before that. Okay. So <laughs> Snow Masons and Personal Servers. Hopefully we can play them next turn. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, so there goes the old guy. Unfortunately, our champions are gone. Okay. So we still have the line, which is the most important thing in my opinion. We can... Since here. Then we can get the servants here. Actually, I remember something. I think if you, like, blocked all their... If you block the CPU's place, it used to block out and not play, so I'm kind of play, so I'm kind of afraid to do that, so I'm going to play them here. <laughs> I'm kind of really afraid to do that, because I don't want to bug out here. So, okay, let's see what he got. Uh, okay, if I want to do this, okay. I'm going to kill one of those. doesn't have to do great of a play, actually, fortunately. Oh, that, that was a decent play. Actually, he's gonna have some damage soon. DM. Okay, let's see what we got here. We can run front runner. I think we should have heroic knight, honestly. Or heroic soldier, sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we should. Like, yeah, fell flares could be good, but I think we'll win the game. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he can counteract this. I'm not sure though. Let's we'll see what he has. For okay. Uh, oh, that's. I think I think he doesn't have a play. Yep. Just gonna do two damage to my base. Just gonna do two damage to my base. He has four mana left. Yep. Okay, so we won this as well. Fairly, fairly easily, I have to say. It wasn't as hard as I anticipated originally. Here we go, victory. So we're gonna get a deck here. Also, we get an achievement, Sand Crawler. So let's open. Also, we get an achievement, Sand Crawler. So let's open the deck and see, or not the deck, the pack and see what we get. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you this as well now. Warfront Runner. Uh, we have two copies of those additional to the one you already have. Heralds him. Give the strength to a friendly target and, and command all friendly units in, in its roll forward. That's interesting. That's good. That could be used. And play gain to strength for each boring friendly unit. Okay. And that was it. Okay. So now I'm going to show you. Here we go. So as you can see, Warp Front Runner. Now we can see Warp Front Runner. Now we can upgrade him. And it's going to cost us 50 gold. Which we can do. And Kablamo. Come on. 3, 2. So now, he ha instead of having only 2 strength, he has 3 strength and still moves to uh, to rows forward. Okay. So here you go. We completed the Swarm of the East campaign 
if you want to see the next campaigns which are winter pack iron clad union and tribe of uh shadow fan stay tuned i'll see you guys next time bye